Well, good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening. It's lovely to see you as usual. So a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and what is a very wet and gloomy day here in Scotland. So something like this is just ideal. It's so tasty, so warm and so easy and actually quite reasonable to make. You'll probably find that you've got a lot of these ingredients. So don't be put off when you see, you know, the amount of ingredients. This apparently is one of the most popular curries in in the UK. Good old chicken tikka. Not my favourite. I do like a really spicy curry so I've ended up using extra chilies on my plate but this is everything that I used here. So if you like a kind of medium strength curry this will probably be the one for you. This is a tomato based curry rather than a cream based curry which I done last week. You remember I done the korma. That was very creamy and I actually preferred that funny enough to this one. I do like tomatoes but I think in a curry I, I like a nice spicy a creamy I think is my favourite but anyway we're going to go with the tikka today and this is just a few of the things that I used here and the spices. You can use cumin seeds or ground cumin. I went with ground cumin. Same with the paprika. You can use smoked paprika or the plain. It's up to you but this was my wee spice bowl here and this was the chicken that I used. Also tomato puree and uh, garlic paste and ginger puree or paste and a wee chicken stock pot. Can of tomatoes and then these were the chilies I used and also the coriander. You'll need a lime and some natural yogurt. So the first thing I want to do is get the marinade done. So get a, grab yourself a big bowl, pop in your yogurt, then your spices, then the lime juice. Very easy and just mix all this together. So this is going to be your marinade. So you want to pop your chicken into this once it's thoroughly mixed. And if you can, leave it overnight in the fridge and it's just going to, you know, your chicken's going to be lovely and infused with all those flavours. But if you're pushed for time, give it at least an hour. So go over to your slow cooker. I'm using a two and a half litre crock pot. And then, yeah, I, I just put water in the bottom, but I take it out again. It's just to warm it up. And then your onions and chilies. And then your pastes straight in and then your wheat stock pot. I mean, you don't have to stir this or anything. Just layer it up and it'll do its own thing. Then your coriander or your cilantro if you're from the States. And then your marinated chicken right on top. I just gave mine a wee move around just to make sure it's covering that coriander. And then your chopped tomatoes. This is just a standard can of chopped tomatoes and that's you. Pop your lid on and don't poke around. Leave it. <laughs> Leave it for the time that it needs to cook. So if you're cooking this on low, give it between six and eight hours. I have to, you know, I did come back and stir it once. You're not meant to do that, but I did just to sort of, you know, I, I can't help myself. I've got to stir it. But I didn't want to stir this around too much because the chicken was so tender. It was just breaking up, you know, as I was moving it around there. So I wanted to keep the, you know, the pieces nice and chunky. So I didn't stir it around too much. But the smell off of this, I'm telling you, with the flavor, you know, the spices. Oh, no, oh my goodness. And the chicken was ultra tender. So we had basmati rice and a wee bit of naan bread as well and like I said not my favourite curry but I highly recommend it if you do like a more tomato based curry or a medium strength curry and it's so easy so let me know if you're planning and giving this one a go I know a lot of you were wanting to see that but just before I move on I wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well and that's me there so thank you very much for watching if you're still here at this point for everybody else who's still here, I am now going to work on my wheat gingerbread recipe. I made that yesterday, so I've just got the editing to do. And as soon as I've done that, I will get that one up as well. So I hope that I find you all very well. Yeah. And until I see you next, take care of yourselves. And from our wee humble kitchen in Scotland to yours, you know, take care and bye for now. And I'll just leave you with my Instagram. If you're not following me over there, I'm What's For Tea 3. And obviously I post pictures and videos that don't make it here to over here on YouTube. So yeah, give me a wee follow over there if you are on Instagram. So I'm definitely going to go now. So from our wee humble kitchen in Scotland to yours, wherever you are in the world, lots of love. Take care and bye for now. Bye now.